One of the biggest mistakes that I see new course creators make is wasting a ton of time and money on the wrong technology. And after working with seven figure online education companies for nearly a decade, I can tell you I've pretty much seen every tech setup there is out there. And a lot of businesses waste a lot of time and money jumping between tech and paying for stuff that they don't need. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through every piece of tech that you need for your online education business at every step of the way. So whether you're a beginner or you're advanced, there's going to be some tools and resources in here for you. And that way you can make make smart choices, save money, and make sure that you can grow your business at every step without missing anything that you need. And if you stick with me to the end, I will walk you through the exact tech stack that we're using to manage a seven figure online education company. So we have done millions of dollars in sales for this high ticket offer. And I'll walk you through everything that we are doing to grow that brand. But first, let's start with the beginners. So if you are just getting started, you probably are getting started building your audience and you probably don't have a product to sell yet. Or if you do have a product to sell, it's probably not selling super well. And so at this point, we wanna make sure you have everything that you need while also keeping your costs down. Now, what you're gonna need when you're just getting started is you need a traffic source. So you need some place that you are creating content, putting stuff out there and that people can find you. I find that for most people who are just getting started, you probably don't want to jump straight into paid ads unless you have a lot of experience with that. You have some kind of expertise around running ads. Usually the best thing to do is start creating content, right? And so people pick all kinds of platforms for that. They use Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, they blog, they do Twitter, X, whatever. So there's lots of options here. I think the important thing is to pick one medium that you like and then to just stick with it and get good at that traffic source. So if I had to bet on one traffic source for the next couple of years, I'm always gonna bet YouTube just because it's a giant search engine, right? So I think YouTube is always a good way to go, but again, you can do all kinds of stuff. People have been successful on every single platform. Once you have your traffic source, the next thing you're gonna want is you're gonna need a landing page so you can capture leads off of that traffic platform and get people onto your list. And then obviously if you have a list, you're gonna need some way to email those people and to stay in touch with them. Also worth mentioning, you're probably gonna need some kind of design tool, so some way to edit and make images and stuff for your websites, for your social media posts, for your landing page, whatever that is, it can be super simple. And you're probably gonna have to write a lot of copy. So having some kind of platform for that kind of stuff would be helpful as well. From my experience, the best platform that I have found that can do all of this is Kajabi. So I still use Kajabi all the time today for the larger companies that I help manage. Uh, it's a great platform. And what I like about Kajabi is it does everything. So if you have courses, if you wanna do a membership on recurring, whatever it is, you can build most of that within Kajabi. And the most important thing here is that you've got email marketing, so you can build a list, you can do landing pages, you can build funnels, you can do sales pages. So what's nice about Kajabi is it's not super expensive. It builds most of what you, pretty much everything that you need to get started into one platform, and then it can grow with you. So this is, I think, the foundational platform that most people can get started on. Again, I use Kajabi pretty much every day with, with, with a couple of the companies that I work with. So another one that's really helpful helpful to use is Canva. So Canva is a great design tool. It makes design super easy. So if you are not a designer, you're not great at Photoshop or something like that. I think Canva is a great tool. I use it all the time. They have a free version. I use pro and I think it's like 15 bucks a month. It's not super expensive. And then definitely would be hard to get anywhere these days without mentioning chat GPT because when it comes to writing copy or coming up with content ideas and all of that kind of stuff, I have found chat GTP to be a, a giant help. I use this tool probably every day as well to help with like email, stuff like that. So this is a great tool as well. I do think for a beginner, if you are just getting started, the nice thing is Kajabi can do all of this. It can help you grow when you need to get to the next stage once you're ready to start selling products. And then for design and copy, both of these are free tools. So this is like a great beginning tech stack for a beginner. And that's really all you need to get started. By the way, I do have a list of all of these tools. Also, I've got like a, an extra free trial for Kajabi. You can get a 30 day trial instead of the normal 14 day trial down in the description below and all of that. So if you want to just grab that list down in the description, go check that out. Now, when you're a beginner, like I said, you probably don't have a product to sell your product's not selling super well. And so what we really want to focus on here is like starting to build an audience, getting traffic and building your email list. That's going to be the most important things you can do. Now, the way that we graduate here is we can actually go start building and selling your first online course. I'm a huge fan of pre-selling. So once you're building a list, you can start to talk to your audience. You can start to pre-sell stuff. When you are ready to sell a course, that's when you are moving to the next stage of becoming a growing creator. Now, as a growing creator, you've already got your traffic source set up. So you're growing your audience that way. You've got a landing page. Hopefully you're building an email list. You're keeping in touch with them that way. That's super important. The next thing we need to do is, to, is add your actual funnel. So what we need is a way to sell people on the product they've created. We need a way to take their money and we need a way to actually deliver that product. 
And so again, we need a, a traffic source. We need a landing page. We need a sales page with an order form. We need to be able to deliver that product once someone buys it. And then we need a way to keep people in touch, keep in touch with people through email. Now, again, the nice thing about Kajabi is it can do all of that sales funnel stuff that you need. So you can set up really nice sales pages. You can set up order forms. Once people buy, they can automatically get their course delivered to them. There's all kinds of options for setting up the courses as far as like giving away instantly. So they just have instant access. You can drip out modules as well. So that's something we've done when we've pre-sold courses is we pre-sell stuff in Kajabi. We get people to pay us and then we drip out the content over time. Uh, and so that's been a really good way to do it. That's one of the reasons I really like Kajabi is it just makes it really simple to do all of that. Now, some other stuff worth mentioning that I think is good to have set up at this stage. You're probably going to have a lot of stuff going on. Maybe you're starting to work with some contractors, hiring some people on Upwork or Fiverr to help you build some stuff or design some stuff. I find Asana is an amazing tool to help organize all this stuff. So having a project management tool somewhere where you can just keep track of who's working on what, when are you trying to get it done, all of that stuff is great. Asana has uh, a free option that gets you really far with all of the stuff that you can do there. So I think Asana is a great tool to use for that. Along with Asana, I use Loom all the time to communicate with different people that I'm working with. So again, if there's any kind of project that needs to get done, we're delegating anything, something like that, I'm always using Loom. I probably record dozens of Looms a week and I send those people all the time for video editing. The tool that I have found that I really like that I use all the time for this is Descript. So what's really cool about Descript is it allows you to edit via text. So you don't need to be a super pro video editor. You don't need to know how to use Adobe Premiere and go do all that kind of stuff in the timeline. You can really just record videos, do like simple screen shares, pull up slides, whatever that is. And then you can edit just simply by editing the text out, which makes it super easy. And so that's why I really like this platform. You can use this to create content for your course. You can use this to create content for social media, for YouTube, anything like that. So I really do love this platform. The other one that I think is really helpful to start to mention at this stage is Calendly. So if you are going to be taking sales calls, let's say, say you're selling something that costs more than two or $3,000, or you want to take sales calls with new people coming onto your course, you want to start talking to people who are buying, anything like that, Calendly makes it super easy to set up a calendar, allow people to book times and go back and forth on getting time set up for, for meetings and stuff. And it does it all remote. You can do it through Zoom, super easy. So between these things here, you know, we've got Kajabi that can handle and then a few extra tools to just kind of help manage the process, get things done faster as you're growing. I would really be curious because if you're at this stage, which a lot of you probably are, you're probably selling courses. What is the tech stack that you're using? If you could let me know down in the comments below, because I'm always just super curious what people are doing. You know, there are definitely other platforms out there. You don't have to use exactly these ones. What I like about Kajabi over other course creation platforms is like a lot of the other ones focus just on course creation, which means you need a course creation platform. You means you also need an email marketing platform. You also need a funnel builder for order forms. You need a way to connect all of that. So you're probably in Zapier setting up a bunch of zaps and stuff. And so that's why I do like Kajabi is it just brings it all into one. And I think for an, you know, for an all in one platform, they do do a really good job at most things, especially for beginning creators when you have a, a more simple business. Now that said, moving on to the next stage, getting to an advanced creator. So let's say you've got a product up, it's selling, you are generating revenue, you're profitable, you're making money, you're going full time with your business. That is awesome. This is probably where you want to step on that gas pedal and start being more aggressive with getting more traffic, selling more products and growing your business. So what I'm going to walk you through right here is pretty much all the tools that we are using right now to manage a seven figure online education company. So for traffic sources, you know, we had already talked about probably having organic traffic if you're just getting started, because if you're not an expert in paid and you don't want to just jump straight into that, but at some point you do want to start looking at adding other traffic sources. And so for our bigger companies that we're working with, they're definitely doing both organic and paid. We're running people to landing pages. I think at this point, what you want want to start considering is having faster funnels. I think Kajabi is great for everything that it's done. Uh, and we do use Kajabi for this business as far as like taking orders and delivering the content. The thing that we do change on the front end is these landing page platforms because we want to optimize for speed, especially if we're running ads, that page loading time is super important. And so the best tool that I have found for that is called Convertry. And there's a ton of funnel builders out there. They all do essentially the same thing. People like different ones for different reasons. The reasons I 
I like this one and we use it all the time is because it is the fastest funnel builder. You know, that's their big selling proposition is that they make the fastest funnels and they focus on making sure that their pages load really fast. And so what we end up doing once we're running paid ads and we're spending a lot of money and we've tested things out and we know our funnel is working is we start swapping out the landing pages for convertory pages. Also, if you are running ads, you are going to need some kind of ad spy tool where what you can do is go out, find ads that are working, save them, share them with your team, go create ads similar to that, kind of break them down, see what's working, try that kind of stuff in your market. My favorite tool for this is Foreplay. I think this tool is awesome. I use it all the time. I have a huge board of all kinds of ads that I've saved over the last year and something since I think they came out. And what's great about this is again, like if you can save ads that you find online, if someone takes them down later, you don't, you still have that ad saved. You have the landing page, you have the video script, all of that stuff is already in here. And so this is where I just build a giant digital swipe file of ads that I like. And then we can go out and kind of model those ads, see what's working with them. And then see if those work for the brands that we're running ads from. So I think that's a really valuable tool. The other thing you want to start considering, because at this point, again, Kajabi can handle the sales pages, the email, the course delivery, all of that stuff. We also start looking at better analytics. So Kajabi does have some built-in analytics, but definitely we want to have GA4 on our websites and Google Tag Manager. So the kind of Google marketing platform, because this is going to give us also some really valuable insights, more on the behavior about what's happening on our site. That's going to give us some deeper analytics than what we can get with Kajabi. Microsoft Clarity, this tool is super cool. We used to pay a fortune for heat maps and, and video recordings. Microsoft Clarity, I think just because they want all the, the data, they just do this for free. And so this is the heat mapping and, and screen recording tool that we use now. This is great for being able to see where people are going on your pages, where they're scrolling, where they bounce off the page, where they stop. So this is really helpful when it comes to optimizing your funnels. You can see screen recordings of how people are actually going through and engaging with your funnel. So where are they getting stuck? What are they clicking on that's not working? All of that kind of stuff. If you're going to be running ads, you need to have a good way to set up tracking. And so the Facebook pixel, we use Google Tag Manager for all of that. But when it comes to Cappy and doing server-side tracking for these platforms, the best tool that we have found is Stape. Io. So this makes it really, really simple to set up the Facebook Cappy tracking, which is super important if you want to track all your ads. And this is going to be even more important as the, you know, the world goes forward and there's less cookies, more cookie blocking on like ad blocking on, on browsers. So we use this a lot. If you really want to take your tracking to the next level, I've got another video that I'll drop in the description below about how we use this tool, Supermetrics. But Supermetrics is great for us to pull all of the data from all the ad platforms that we're running on and start to build really cool dashboards and spreadsheets and reporting that allow us to get insights on all the traffic, uh, all the traffic that we're running how it's all performing, how our funnels are converting, all of that stuff. Really great tool. We use this a lot. And then the last tool that I think is definitely good to set up once you really start to grow your business and you're starting to have a lot of different traffic sources, you have a lot of different ways people are coming in. Maybe you've got multiple lead magnets, potentially multiple products. You've got high ticket offers, down sales, all of that stuff. You want to see how everything is working together and you want to see really like what are your most profitable lead magnets? Uh, what is your most profitable product? What is the best entry point for your customers? How much is a customer really worth after three, six months, all of that stuff. Segmetrics is a great tool for that. So what this will do is this pulls all that data into a platform. They also have their own pixels. So they start tracking individuals. And so once someone comes in with an email, they have an IP address, they have an email. Then if they change emails or something, or they change devices, anything like that, it'll stitch all that data together and start to put together. So that's what we're really looking for on the advanced creators. We're starting to open up other traffic platforms. We still have our funnels and our landing pages, but we want to make sure they're going faster. We've still got our email marketing and we're doing all of that. But then we start to look at how can we run better ads? How can we build faster and better performing funnels? And how can we get better analytics so we can start to see what is actually working in our funnel and where can we start to make decision optimization, optimize our, 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 our funnel from there. And so this is really like all the tools that we use to run our seven figure offers. So as you're growing, these are the kind of things you can start to consider looking into. Again, we really want to make sure that we're not spending money that we don't need. And one of the things that I, I do find is really try, I try to avoid these days is if I can, I don't want to like Frankenstein a bunch of tools together and have to connect everything through Zapier because I find the thing, the more complicated it is, the more likely something's going to break. It's usually going to be Zapier and then you have issues where things just aren't connecting. And so that's why I really like having Kajabi as kind of a base for all of this. And then we start layering other things on as we need it. And so that's it. Now you know every single tool that you need at each stage of your business as you are trying to grow. I left all the links to the tools that I mentioned in down in the description below. I've actually just got a link you can click. It'll give you all these tools, kind of the description. I've also got some partnerships with some of these companies. So I think you can get a better deal going through those links than you can 
plan going through just like the website. Like I know Kajabi, I think I've got a 30 day trial. I think on their website, it's usually 14. So you can get a little bit of an extended trial there to, to check it out and make sure it works for you. Uh, if you buy through any of those links, it does support this channel. It helps me make more videos like this. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Now, before you go, I would actually love if you would comment down below, like, what do you think about this? What's your tech stack? Is there anything different? Or did you learn anything new from this? I am definitely a geek when it comes to technology and kind of setting up these platforms and, and doing all this kind of stuff. Like I said, I've worked with companies like this for nearly 10 years. I've worked with every tech stack, all the platforms. We've set up everything. I like this because it's simple, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, I would definitely recommend checking out this video as well. So actually just click right here and I will see you over there.